you're sitting there, overweight slob, absolutely happy with your pale complexion. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Unnatural Vegan's latest What I Eat Today on a Vegan Diet video. Unnatural Vegan was one of the more bearable vegans back in the day when I was a vegan. She seemed like someone that actually keeps an open mind and is open to suggestions. She seemed open to the idea that a vegan diet actually is not the healthiest and that you can be very very healthy on a meat-based diet. This is why she got some sympathy points so to speak. However, years later she is still vegan and therefore it appears that she didn't learn anything. Let's check out her video. So I know I did one of these fairly recently. Good, there is a disclaimer. She says, I'm not a dietitian. Then on the other hand, she refers to veganhealth.org and the vegan rd.com, which are of course propaganda pages, has nothing to do with objectivity at all. Oh. But I ate a lot of things that I really haven't eaten before, I guess. Yeah, like several things. So why do you do a what I eat in a day video if those things are not things that you eat on a daily basis? Anyways, we have to assume that she picked the more healthy foods because that's what vegans do. They always pick the healthiest <laughs> choices for their videos, the pretty looking things. And then behind the camera they're eating even worse things that i hadn't eaten before or things that i haven't really like shown i guess in a video i don't know uh -huh. i thought it might be interesting anyway i know it's not interesting because the video is called what i eat in a day right so therefore we should know what you are eating on a daily basis you want to help your viewers out i assume started with not something sweet, which is usually what I have for breakfast. I think that's what most do. people have for breakfast, at least like in the US. Is that so? Don't you guys eat scrambled eggs as well? Is everybody eating cereal for breakfast? I don't think so. Uh, instead, I had leftovers from the night before. I had tortilla soup what is and this? a chipotle lentil burger with guacamole on top and some more <sighs> tortilla chips. And both of the recipes, the tortilla soup and the chipotle lentil. Okay, just looks absolutely saddening, doesn't it? You see this little blob of guacamole there, the soup, and you see the corn chips. That kind of reminds me of hospital food. Absolutely disgusting. Grains on top of grains, plant, oils, nothing else. Burger are from one of Issa's books, the Appetite for Reduction book. It's Appetite really for Reduction. good if you are looking to eat lower calorie meals. It's all uh, vegan, of course. Um, if you're looking to eat lower calorie meals or if you're looking to eat less fat or if you like to eat less fat. If you are eating vegan, you're not eating any fat to begin with. You're eating oils. Please change the terminology. It's a really good book because it's not like 80 you must 10, know that by now, or right? McDougal or some of that stuff where it's just really, really, really low fat. Like virtually every recipe in the book has some amount of fat in it. She doesn't oil. just cook everything in water. Oil. Like she actually uses small amounts of oil right but instead oil. Of like a table. exactly not fat don't you understand this if you're watching this video you have to distinguish between animal fats saturated animal fats and plant oils do you understand the concept a spoon or two tablespoons she uses like a couple of teaspoons <clears throat> right and it's got some mm. of my favorite recipes the caesar dressing in it is delicious it's like my favorite salad dressing recipe i remember i, I because hated otherwise salads taste like shit. every day with cauliflower and mm. bulgur and something else i can't Bleh. remember and i would put the dressing like all over it and i remember eating that for lunch like every why would you do that to yourself and honestly you can see it by her body composition listen guys today i'm not gonna do the whole anti-nutrient spiel we already know plant foods have anti-nutrients nothing new here right they will destroy your gut lining absolute poison however let's talk about more aesthetic goals today let's look at her again skinny fat complexion in her case even more extreme she is slightly overweight i would say very very soft looking very flabby looking why is that so? Guys, the human body uses building blocks to build your tissues, right? So with proteins, you will build muscle tissues. On the other hand, if you're eating carbohydrates, 
you will store it as fat and your muscles will atrophy because you do not have quality protein and then you will look like a natural vegan super sad Every day and i was watching flight of the concords like i can i can picture this oh. so clearly have lunch watch flight of the concords on our this tiny tiny kitchen or tiny tiny tv that we had in the kitchen <laughs> like terrible quality and yeah Good times. Sorry if you hear a little bit of like breathing or sliding around. That's my toddler. They're just, they're hanging out with me today while I record. Oh yeah? Why don't you show your toddler? If this is how you eat, and I'm curious to see the rest of this day, how does your child eat? How is the health condition of this child? I hope that you breastfeed it at least for a short period of time and gave that baby some nutrition. Where is it? probably super malnourished they're hanging out with me today while i record which is interesting right interesting yeah so yeah both mm. the soup there and was the burger voice are from us. that book i really like both of them the burger is definitely a veggie burger right like no one's gonna think that oh this is meat, right it's not supposed to be it's lentils yeah it's got the chipotle and adobo in it so it's fairly spicy Lectins. i used a little bit you should call it the Chipotle lectin burger recipe. Less than she did, just in, in case, you know. Anyway, uh, I had for lunch, I had just some bread Jesus. with peanut butter, a peanut butter sandwich. Okay, so what is in here? Of course, peanut butter aflatoxins, right? Especially if you have a peanut allergy or an intolerance sensitivity, you will suffer tremendously. But either way, this is not healthy for you. Aflatoxins, omega-6 oils, absolutely shit food. Then you have the hummus there, which is again lectin-ridden. And you have a couple of baby carrots. Great. So again, as I said, I'm not going to talk about the anti-nutrients too much. But what kind of value does this meal have? You only have the gluten containing bread, which is carbs. And then you have the peanut butter, which is mediocre shit protein. And as I said, aflatoxins. And then you have some more carbs here. And you have some more plant oils here. How is that a nutritious meal? You don't have any saturated animal fats and you do not have any quality proteins. So how is that something that you should be eating on a daily basis? Especially you as a mother should know better. Sandwich, I don't know why I worded it that way. <laughs> Just a peanut butter sandwich and some baby carrots and some hummus, some homemade hummus. This is one of... Man, that is a I starvation mean, like diet. It's why so would you do better. that to yourself? Honestly, why would you do that to yourself? You have all the means to eat healthy in this day and age. Your forefathers have suffered for you to get nutrition, right? To get shelter. And now you're eating like an absolute slave. It's unbelievable. She also has a low calorie guacamole that has edamame in it, which is a pretty good idea. I'm sure it's not nearly as good as regular guacamole, but it sounds pretty good. Like edamame is yummy and you're getting, you know, an extra protein boost. So I might try boost. that. So then for a... If you really want a protein boost, why don't you eat fish? Why don't you eat eggs? Why don't you eat any animal foods if you're really concerned about protein? Why do you stay on a vegan diet? How does that make sense? Snack at some point. I had this very pretty smoothie. It's just banana and wild frozen blueberries. Obviously, after eating that stuff, juice. you don't want to eat again. Intuitively, your gut is already rebelling, right? You ate bread, you ate corn crackers, just a bunch of carbs. Just a bunch of carbs. No building material. Fibrous carbs that make you skinny fat. And now you're craving sugar, you're gonna get your little sugar fix, your insulin peak through this smoothie. Again, no nutrition in it whatsoever. Some hemp seeds, some pea protein, and yeah. some Fantastic. soy milk. Oh, and well, some more phytoestrogens spinach listed on here, but I definitely didn't put spinach in it. I definitely forgot to put spinach in it because the color is really Yeah, be happy. So you saved yourself from oxalate poison. Pretty the spinach would make it look like gross very very yummy True. lots of fruit lots of vitamin c and omega-3s from the hemp seeds and protein it's not omega-3s it is again plant oils it is an equivalent not the same thing whatsoever and a lot of vitamin c wow big surprise yeah that's the only thing that you get from fruits nothing more nothing less obviously from the protein powder and the soy milk it's a nice nice little Again, protein powder, because you do not have protein in your diet. Every single protein gram is wrapped in fiber and every 
plant food is filled with anti-nutrients that hinder that absorption. This is why you need isolated protein powders in order to cope with your malnourishment. So now, I said it before, but omnivores, they drink protein shakes as well. Yes, as supplements. Supplements should supplement your diet. I know it is hard to understand for DHA and EPA deficient brains, but please try to comprehend what I'm saying here. You are supplementing as an omnivore if you think that you need more protein. Then a protein shake can be handy. Understood. In a vegan diet, you are not supplementing because you have a need for those nutrients. So what do you do? You do not have a little bit of B12 in your diet and therefore you're going to supplement. No, you have zero B12 in your diet and therefore you will replace foods with pills. And this is what you do here as well. You do not have bioavailable protein in your diet. Therefore, you're going to supplement. No, you're going to replace food with chemicals. Snack. And then for dinner, I had another <sighs> recipe from Appetite for Reduction. Carbs on carbs on carbs. Nothing more and nothing less. Again, as I said, we already know about the phytochemicals, so therefore why talk about the same subject over and over again? I know many vegans still don't get it, so therefore we should repeat it from times to times, but no, no, I'm just going to focus on body composition. You are simply eating carbohydrates. Look at your body composition. You are already fat. You do not need more fat. You do not need to store more energy. But what you are consuming is energy. Carbohydrates and fats, in your case, plant oils, are energy. And then you have building blocks, which are proteins. But you are not using, you're not eating any proteins. You're simply fueling yourself with more and more energy. For what? Will you run a marathon? What is going on here? This is just a whole video on why uh, you should buy this book, because there's lots of yummy stuff. Actually, I wasn't a huge no, fan yummy. of this, That's the only thing that you are I caring about. Some... You only care about yummy, tasty, delicious. You do not care about nutrition whatsoever. Um, it changes. First off, I added chickpeas just to add some protein. <laughs> I love this. She really believes she's this rational vegan, right? Everybody else does it wrong, right? The freelies, the durian riders, way too many carbohydrates. I do it right. I do it in the right ratios. High protein. Listen to me, eat the chickpeas. Yeah, if you want to destroy your gut, go for that. So ridiculous. Of course, you need protein, but what you need is animal protein. And full, but I just want something. <laughs> I just want to eat something, and so I end up eating something. But I actually felt like I'm I'm still hungry so I made oh, just some really? chocolate you felt like you're cream. still hungry and then you go for the chocolate ice cream classical vegan malnutrition insulin sensitivity super screwed always the same right constantly on the sugar roller coaster cravings after cravings never really satisfied young lady if you would eat meat, a carnivorous diet, you would change your whole body composition. Your body could finally use your adipose tissues, your fatty stores, as energy. It would extract it as energy and it would preserve and potentially even rebuild some muscle tone. It would be an absolute amazing display of what a carnivorous diet can do to you. However, you are still in denial and you do believe that your body needs more energy. Instead of giving yourself some nutrition, because this is what your body is craving after that depleted meal, you give your body more sugar. Let me ask you a simple question. You think that you are very science-based, right? That you understand the human anatomy. So by that premise, do you believe that there is a genetic adaptation, that there is an actual biological need for banana and ice cream? Do you think your body needs that? If not, why do you eat it? You know, the, what do they call it? Nice cream, whatever. Uh, mm, just a frozen banana nice. and some cocoa powder. I think I, I think I put a little bit of peanut butter in it too. Because that really helps with the texture mm. and... Yeah, because it reminds you of actual dairy ice cream, right? Makes it more creamy. Some chocolate chips so that it actually feels like dessert instead of just a... Yeah. 
a smoothie in a bowl. So that's it for food. Pretty good day. Lots of <laughs> fantastic day. That was amazing. You should be a nutritionist. Delete the disclaimer. That was a fantastic day, and everybody else should mimic this. Protein, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. People always ask what I use for the nutrition thing. Of course, you do chronometer. Uh, for what the, else? What trying, like a nutrition <laughs> Who doesn't? tracker, right? A nutrient <laughs> tracker. Um, I use chronometer. That's uh, the one I've used like for years. I really yep. the user. In the vegan rule of thumb is. As long as it is in chronometer, it will be in my system as well. Who cares about absorption? <laughs> and what happens is, like when I'm actually hungry like that, I wake up at like four in the morning and I can't go back to sleep because I'm so hungry, which is just terrible. So yeah, that is so terrible. But does that mean my diet is bad? No, of course not. Right? Has nothing to do with my malnourishing vegan diet. Nothing at all. Do you think that is a normal state? for a young woman to wake up in the morning at 4 a.m. and to be starving, right? Do you think that is normal? Do you think everything is A-OK -okay with your diet? If you would eat properly, you wouldn't have that problem. Wow. Yeah, just knowing myself well enough, I need to eat something. I probably could have had less calories than that, but, you know, you live and you learn. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, apparently you do not learn. Years and years later, you are still vegan, even though you have all the red flags in the book and you seemed to keep an open mind, but apparently you didn't. Uh, 80 grams of protein, so that's pretty good. And I'm at 80 grams of protein. So how much do you weigh? I'm just gonna guess 70 kilos. She looks slightly overweight. 70 kilos as a lady for perfect hormonal function and overall preferable body composition, you should eat 140 grams of protein in your case. Two grams per body weight kilogram. My needs for pretty much everything. It's a little bit low on zinc oh, really? and iron mm. and vitamin okay, be... E, which oh. is pretty typical. I think for a lot Strange. of vegans, unless you're eating you a think? lot of oil, a lot of nuts, mm. um, or sunflower seeds. It's crazy. Yes. Sunflower seeds are an insane source of <laughs> vitamin E. Vitamin D, of course, got a little oh. bit from the soy milk. Yeah. No, you didn't get anything. The soy milk is, of course, fortified. That is not true vitamin D. That is a synthetic counterpart. It mimics vitamin D. It is not vitamin D. You didn't get anything. And B12 got a little bit from the soy milk again. <laughs> again, fortified B12, not the real thing. And so, yeah, again, this is why yeah. I like to take a multi every day or at least every of other course day. Of course you do. Uh, because I do take like vitamin D and B12 in addition to my sure. multi. Since I don't cool. take a multi Sounds every healthy. day because either I forget yes. or, you know, whatever. I don't. Whatever. Again, we have absolutely no clinical trials or any proof for long-term supplementation that is indeed successful. We do see elevated blood levels through supplementation, but that is of course normal. That chemical that you are testing for will occur in your blood after administration, especially if you inject it, like many vegans do, with B12. So now you're sitting there and telling me people should supplement, right? Take those chemicals, vitamin D, B12, and whatnot. On top of that, you didn't list your protein powder. Absolutely disgusting. I tend to take one every single day, which is totally fine. I don't need a whole lot when it comes mm. to really any nutrient. Again, like everything that I'm low on, I'm low on by like a few percentage points, you know? So yeah mm, sure let's just trust chronometer because chronometer has a certain rda and we're just gonna go by that as long as that says it is okay it will be okay it's the same with the testosterone range right nowadays a healthy male has a testosterone range somewhere on the scale from 200 to 1000 it doesn't matter where you are right it's all good somewhere in between pick your choice i like to take it just in case and so i don't have to totally monitor what i'm eating which is mm. just like awful and not worth it honestly just gives me peace of mind you I wouldn't have to monitor anything if you would eat nutritionally dense animal foods even eggs would absolutely improve your diet yes and yeah like i said i take an extra d i take the um the doctor's best vitamin d3 i think Great. because it's such an insane reliable. price like it's just so it's such a good price. It's definitely the cheapest thing on Amazon. I think David does Maybe have D2 that's cheap. 
And that should be totally fine for most people. But I figure now that we have a vegan D3, because I started taking it when I was pregnant uh, with toddler, like just in case. (laughs) And so ever since then, I just kept taking it. And like I said, I take extra B12, just whatever delicious, cheap. The vegan D3 is an absolute radioactive extraction. So by no means should you put that into your body. Vitamin they have at the store, you know, the chewable stuff. Because it's yummy. Oh, and DH. Of uh, course it's yummy. That's the only thing I care about. It's yummy. J, and I take the the David DHA, but there are lots and of options as well. now. Spectrum. Sure. Have- Why do you take colon, right? Colon is associated with better brain performance. Some brain fog, anybody? Hmm? The version and uh, does Nordic naturals i'm pretty sure they have one too wow. there are a lot of options now which is pretty cool a lot of vegan yeah. dha options a lot There's of this- medicine there a lot of medicine for you it's to new, cope with actually, your nutritionally deficient diet. i don't know how new it is but this supplement called hippo seven that's like geared specifically towards vegans the seven is the seven nutrients that can be uh like of concern for vegans nutrients that can be lacking or are awesome. definitely now lacking on a vegan it diet. is already seven right so the list continues Thank God they are kind of catching up on it. So maybe that will save a couple of human lives. In the beginning, it was only B12, then DHA, EPA, D3, creatine, carnosine, la 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 la. The list goes on. Let's all sing. We are cruelty free and healthy. I had so obviously B12, um, vitamin D, DHA. <laughs> what did I just and say? And then there's iron. <laughs> Zinc, uh, iodine. Yeah, so that's mm. cool, but the that's marketing cool. is definitely like we use natural sources. It's not synthetic, which like fine if that makes you comfortable <laughs> and will get you to supplement. Cool, uh, but I'm sure shit not gonna pay twenty five dollars a month for. Yeah, because you do not care about anything really. The thing is, you do not have to be some sort of naturalist, right? And everything that happens in nature is the law. I have to abide by it. That is not the point. The point is that you have no idea about human nutrition and human physiology, and you have no proof that those supplements work either, right? So therefore you do not care about what really functions. You're sitting there, overweight slob, absolutely happy with your pale complexion, probably anemic, but who cares, right? Go vegan, everybody. Seven nutrients. No, I will buy my Dave a multi, even though it tastes terrible, <laughs> because it's like, what is it, $10 Toxic. for 90 tablets for 90 mm. servings, and has more stuff in it. It's got vitamin A and a bunch of other shit, too. <laughs> like, Yeah, just check yeah. it all down. It's awesome. I think I'll stick with that. So stick that's it. it in Sounds terms fantastic. of food. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> no, that wasn't food. Ah, do I really have to explain this? This was not food, dear unnatural vegan. This was chemicals, not food. Delicious day. And delicious. then for exercise, <laughs> I have no delicious. idea. This was like a week ago. Mm. Oh my God. Yes, I do. Because I've been wow. keeping track. What am I talking about? Mm. <laughs> I can actually go back and see because I've been logging my workouts, which I have not done in years. <sighs> I used to log every single workout. I have piles of, not really piles. I mean, I do have, well, I don't know if I do anymore, actually. All right, enough of this. Absolutely painful to watch, as so many other vegan videos, of course. This particular lady wanted to convey that her food was very yummy, which it was not. Even from a vegan standpoint, I believe you would agree, that was not yummy at all. What? Peanut butter sandwich? A blueberry smoothie? Corn tortilla soup? Absolute peasant food, the lowest of the low. This is what you would see a student that is broke eating just because they have to get by. Absolutely disgusting, no nutrition whatsoever, totally delusional, has no understanding of human physiology, human nutrition whatsoever. I can only be concerned for her children. All right, guys, but this is it for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much. And as always, much love and peace.